For the last several years, the FAA has been implementing NextGen, a promising satellite-based aviation technology aimed at providing the safest, most efficient aerospace system. NextGen enabled the FAA to concentrate air traffic into precise, narrow corridors with the intention to shorten flight paths in order to shave off minutes and save fuel. In March 2015, NextGen came to Los Altos and Los Altos Hills as part of the San Francisco Airport Metroplex plan. The FAA concentrated arriving air traffic into a flight corridor called the Surfer Route. Surfer comes up from the south and runs directly overhead of Los Altos. As Surfer gets close to our area, two other flight paths, one from the north and one from the west, converge with Surfer. It is important to note that there has been no overall increase in flight traffic to San Francisco Airport. Yet, we now have three and a half times the air traffic than before next gen, with six times the planes flying at altitudes below 6,000 feet. The planes aren't just louder because they are lower. Flying at lower altitudes requires more of what pilots call coming in dirty. Flaps down, more engine throttle, and the use of speed brakes to navigate the corridor. Two-thirds of Los Altos is now under a noise shadow that is typically two and a half miles wide, cutting a path through town. NextGen claims jet noise reduction. Yes, NextGen reduced noise for some communities simply by concentrating it over others. What the Aviation Impact Reform website calls the creation of noise ghettos. The Aeronautical Information Manual, known as AIM, states, this program is a continuing effort by the FAA to enhance safety, minimize the impact of noise, and conserve aviation fuel. It seems the FAA forgot something. Noise reduction is second only to safety. Is NextGen safer? AIM states, enhancement of safety and reduction of noise is achieved by minimizing low-altitude maneuvering. Pardon our confusion, the way NextGen was implemented created more low-altitude maneuvering. By the FAA's own definition, that implies safety is not enhanced. The sky above us is more congested, thus more noise, more fuel, and emissions, and furthermore, Congestion also means increased exposure time between the commercial aircraft now maneuvering at low altitudes and general aviation aircraft already in that same low altitude airspace. It makes no sense. The FAA claims NextGen is working. With millions saved for the airline industry, less emissions, and better on time schedules. Yes, it works at high altitudes. Flying from point A to point B in straighter lines saves money through less fuel, thus less emissions, and shorter flights. However, it is not working in the Metroplex. Planes have to land. In the Metroplex, there is serious disconnect between the FAA's mandated goals and the realities of congestion, noise, and concentrated pollution. Earlier this year, the U.S. House of Representatives Department of Transportation released a scathing report outlining numerous shortcomings of the FAA to implement reforms. The FAA's next gen is neither clean nor environmentally friendly. It is destroying communities across the nation. Our Los Altos area is not alone. Public outcry has been unprecedented. Communities develop and prosper coexisting with known air traffic patterns. The FAA, an agency created to act in the public interest, unilaterally reconfigured our airspace with no community engagement. Did they not think we'd notice? Currently, there are times of quiet, but there are cluster periods when planes fly one after another less than three minutes apart. SFO cannot build more runways, but NextGen is set to help airports meet demand for additional capacity by minimizing spacing. If the noise doesn't bother you now, look into the crystal ball.
information from stop.jetnoise.net goes directly to SFO, then to the FAA, and our congressional leaders. Numbers drive action. They need unrelenting proof that we are not happy campers. Consider the chemicals you breathe from the concentrated traffic. Harvard School of Public Health puts airplane noise in the same league as secondhand smoke. The flight corridor is directly over many of our schools, and it is well established that noise impacts the high-end market. Before March 2015, complaints to SFO from our area were next to nothing. Los Altos barely made it on the map. After March 2015, complaints skyrocketed along the surfer route. Communities should be equal stakeholders with the FAA and the airline industry. We are hopeful that the select committee of civic leaders from throughout the SFO Metroplex will expedite regional resolution. FYI, the Palo Alto City Council has made jet noise a council priority. Both Palo Alto and Portola Valley have each commissioned a professional study. We live in a metropolitan area. Planes are a fact of life. No one can say not in my backyard. We support a Metroplex plan, one that meets the promise of next-gen technology. Equitably redistribute noise over our wide Bay Area. Enhance safety by eliminating congested corridors. Increase altitudes and allow planes to quietly glide down from the sky, thus increasing safety, decreasing noise, decreasing fuel and emissions. Everyone wins. The top administrator for the FAA, Michael Huerta, stated, The decisions we make now will define aviation for decades to come. Each of us chose to live here for different reasons. None of us chose this. We have a small window of opportunity for change. Get on stop.jetnoise.net today. Please see the to-do list on the Sky Posse Los Altos homepage.